Check out this neat little project I've been working on. This is my Cafe Racer seat pin, and I've sunk a good few hours in the cutting off the rear section of the stock pan, cleaning it up in the blast cabinet, and I've been a whole brand new rear section to match the stamp shape. And I think it looks pretty good, except for one spot. I think the back of our seat pan would be a little bit stronger if I threw a couple of beads in it, like you see right here. The problem is, when you roll a regular bead with a bead roller, the metal for the little channel that's being created has to come from somewhere. And I can tell you that it pulls in from the sides. If you're not careful and you go too deep with your beads, you can easily end up with a warped piece of metal like this piece of junk that you see right here. After all the work I've put into this seat pan so far, I do not want that to happen. Thankfully, there is a way around this. The solution was, and still is, is to pre-stretch the panel in an English wheel. But you don't need to buy an English wheel just for stretching. You could use your bead roller and these two dies right here, the Eastwood stretching dies, to get the same exact effect. Now what these do is stretch out the metal just like an English wheel so that when you roll a bead, there's plenty of extra surface area for that bead to pull from, keeping your panel nice and straight in the process. Which is a big deal, whether you're working with floor pans, an access panel, firewalls, or really anything that's sheet metal for that matter, you want your metal to be as straight and as flat as possible, which makes the stretching dies a must have. Using these is quick and easy, but the biggest thing to watch out for is how you set these up in the bead roller. They attach to the bead roller just like any die out there, but the orientation is important. You want the flat stretching die, the one you see right here, to correspond with where the male bead die is going to go. And on the other shaft, you want the radius stretching die to correspond with where the female bead die is going to go. That's very important to get your crown to work with your bead correctly. Rolling with them is super simple. I went back and forth on my X pattern maybe six or seven times for each line. I feel like it doesn't take much work with the stretching dies to get good results. A little tiny bit of crown in your panel will go further than you think. I only use medium pressure, maybe from touching the metal one and a quarter to one and a half turns on the crank. And when I was rolling, I like to stick in this sort of box pattern it's called. And that just means you wander a little bit to each side of where your bead is going to ultimately lie and stick within a box shape. Quarter inch to the left, quarter inch to the right is all you want to do for a standard 3 8 inch bead. Now these beads are pretty shallow. Keep in mind if you do want to do something deeper, you're going to need more metal and therefore you should stretch accordingly. We offer two versions of the stretching dies, one that will fit with our motorized three quarter inch diameter shaft bead rollers. And we also offer a set of these that will work with our hand cranked 22 millimeter shaft diameter bead rollers that you see me use in this video. Now, these aren't specific to our Eastwood machines. If you have a machine that's the same shaft diameter, these will work just fine. These are made from high quality CR12 steel and we back these with a one year warranty. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MiG 180 at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel as well. We have tons of great how-to content over there. You're definitely going to want to see. We'll have the stretching dies link below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.